Hey all, Russ here, our Veer TV. How you doing today? Today is Saturday, March 16th. Look at the weather. Picture perfect. Absolutely picture perfect. Winds have finally laid down somewhat. It's supposed to blow again today. Well, I'm messing with the van. I bought some uh, more containers. This will be it. I'm starting to arrange them kind of the way I want. I bought this uh, rubber matting at Walmart. It's only like $2.88 a piece. I'm cutting them out to make tops. That way they don't slide around when I'm traveling. Then I'm going to figure out a bungee system so they won't slide on me too while I'm traveling. Because a couple of them will probably stack. I don't know yet. Anyway, I'm getting these trimmed out right now. Here, let's go around the other side. This one here I already have uh, trim. Nothing fancy, but it really makes it where stuff won't slide. So I gotta trim that one. That one's done. There's the copter in the bag there. And I got my 12 volt. I finally dug out my 12 volt TV. I'm actually gonna test it out on that thing. There's no there's no TV reception here in Quartzsite, so it's a little hard to test. But we'll see what we can get out of it. And then the TV, I don't know when I'm traveling. I'll just lay it on top of one of the tubs and secure it in a blanket or something. I'm not the biggest TV person in the world anyway, but it's good to have. I can also use that for an external monitor for my laptop, so that would be kind of cool. Then here's my refrigerator. People keep asking me about my refrigerator. Well, it's going to be a nice chest. <laughs> There's no way. I, I'm not going to spend that kind of money on a 12-volt fridge. They just want way too much for them. I bought a cheap one when I had Spirit. It was one of them Coolatrons. It barely kept up and it lasted like six months. So you kind of get what you pay for in them things. Anyway, let me get busy. Oh, and also... I want to add my board across here. I have the lumber. So we'll work on that today. So it'll be kind of odds and ends day. So let me get going and I'll be back. Okay, that one's trimmed out. And this one. Or that one. <laughs> Forget. Okay, that's done. The more I'm in here, the more I'm really liking this uh, setup. This couch bed is perfect. It's very comfortable to sit in. You know, check out these uh, tubs. They can stack up. Like when I'm in here doing stuff, I can stack them up. Gives me lots of room. I can even stack those two. I can have all this for like setting up my laptop and everything. I'm really liking these things the more I have them. The yellow I'm kind of getting used to. <laughs> but it's okay. But look, they even got these little deals here. So it really holds the lid tight. They really snap in there tight. I'll figure it out. I'll figure out how to strap them and make it secure for when I travel. Because actually they can just sit on the floor when I'm traveling. Then stack them up when I'm parked. You know, I, I was really kicking back and forth. Do I want to get in and build a bunch of wall and shelf right now? And the short answer is heck no. Because I'm still at, at the feeling that I don't know how long I'll keep this van. If I even want to keep it as a camper, I will through this summer, but uh, we'll see what happens. 
but once again everything is removable it'll come right out of here so but really liking these tubs I got them at Home Depot they were really cheap I think all of them put together was about 50 bucks. <laughs> you can't beat it. It would have cost a heck of a lot more with wood trying to put up shelving in here. But I fully understand if someone wants to live in their van and they're really doing it as more permanent, then I understand all that construction. So next thing, why don't we try, move my phone here. This is a 12 volt TV. It's a good one. It's a Naxa. Let me find. It's a 12 volt. And you know what I got? We got. <laughs> if I can find it. This thing. <laughs> Let's hook this up a minute. I'm curious to see how much uh, this TV draws in power too. Well, that 12 volt cord I have for the TV isn't working. So, I'm gonna hook up the 110 one to the inverter. Hey, it's working. Yay. <laughs> okay, no signal. I don't have an antenna hooked to it. Well, good. It's working. Thought about mounting that thing, but I don't know. I mean, I guess I could mount it over here. Well, hang on. Let me shut it off. I mean, I could mount it there, but then I gotta look at it all the time. I think I'd rather just keep it loose. So, well, anyway, TV's working. Huh, I wonder why. This thing. I just bought it. <laughs> Does not work. Okay. Good old Amazon. Careful what you buy. Anyway, we got television. Got the containers. I'm going to take a couple of these bun ball bungees. I'm going to carry this ladder with me. This will get me up top to the cargo area. And also it's good for photography so it's basically gonna ride across here like this and I'm going to bungee it to the frame so it should ride okay so I think what I'll do is I'll uh, drill a couple holes into the frame here go from there let me do that real quick we'll see how it turns out put in this bracket we'll have a ball bungee through it for tying off stuff which mainly the ladder also I can tie the ladder to the one of the tubs actually both tubs and then I'm gonna drill a hole here real quick we'll put another bungee so all this will be secure <laughs> what a plan okay let me finish this up and I'll show you
Ha ha, look at that. Here, here on the tubs, and there on the floor. Okay, I found one more bracket. Look at that. So now that's really in there. So it's supported on both ends and two on the tub and one on the frame. can secure them uh, tubs from sliding a little bit of storage once again when I get somewhere I can just unhook it and make room but check it out it's coming together bits and pieces okay on to the next okay here's a look from the other side look at that that's holding it so in a real heavy brake that would keep them from coming too far forward. You know what I am thinking though? I might do it. If I made like some kind of little shelf right here, I could set my uh, cooler up here. And that would not interfere with the bed. Okay. You know, these ball bungees, if you ever use them, they're great. Look how I can tie those two together. I did on the back side. So these puppies, they're not going to come loose. You know, they might jiggle a little bit, but I can play with it. I can always add another floor bracket, which I might. But uh, we'll have to wait and see how it rides. But that's secure. That way if I sudden stops, this stuff ain't gonna come flying around and hit me in the head. Up there. <laughs> and I'll keep messing with it. Trial and error. Alright, I'm still thinking about that shelf. I don't know if it's even gonna be worth it. For this ice chest. Because I really don't have... I, there's no way I'm buying a fridge. So I don't know yet. They tried and that's that cheap plastic crap. I don't know. I have to think about this. Alright, let me put a little thought in it. Shall we turn? Okay, check it out. Got a little shelf made. And the sides. I'm I don't know. Jury's out on that one. But those will be for up there in the rack. Okay, here's something else. Uh air diffusers. I have them on the motorhome. I thought I'd put some of these because I'm rough mountain equipment. Or racks, whatever you want to call it. So I thought these would go good up here. I need to uh, measure it out and figure it out, but those will go on too. I have them on the back of the motorhome, those air tabs, and they help a ton in the wind. They really don't help with fuel much, but I figured it helped diffuse some of the air, get it over top of the solar panel, then my rack that I'll be putting over there. I had to order another piece for that stupid thing. Won't be until Wednesday. Anyway, that's something else that'll go on here. Okay, there's the board. I'm gonna clamp it up there first, see how it looks. Make sure it looks okay. So, I shall return. Okay. There's the board. I don't like it. I need something on this side. 
to attach some stuff to, but not that. I just don't like it. I don't know, I gotta think about that. One thing that's crappy lumber I bought down here locally at the hardware store. I'm gonna have to think about that one, but I'm not gonna put these boards up. What a waste. Just don't like, it ain't gonna be solid. I want something really solid up there. Huh. Okay, I shall return. Okay, but here's something I do like. Check it out. Little shelf. Okay, well, bits and pieces, they keep going. They're gonna keep adding up. I'm gonna keep going on this. Thought I'd just do a quick video about what it takes to put one of these things together. I mean, it, it's endless. Not endless, but you know what I mean. Okay, this is Russ, I'm gonna sign off now. Hope everyone has a great day. Don't forget to travel safe. Talk soon, take care.